All right, so this is the WD My Cloud, the PR4100. It comes stock with four gigabytes of RAM. I believe it's running at 1600 megahertz. We're gonna upgrade this to uh, 16 gigs. We should be able to increase the speed and performance of uh, what it can do. So let's tear it open and check it out. All right, we're gonna log in here to the uh, MyCloud dashboard. As you can see, we have uh, about four and a half terabytes available for storage. This is out of an eight terabyte unit. Actually, only uh, six terabytes are visible because of the parity drive. Um, let's look at the, uh, the RAM real quick. Right now, you can see everything's pretty much at idle. There's nothing going on. We have a 2% CPU usage, and we have, uh, for memory, we have 18.21% out of the four gigs installed. Now, I'm using this little NAS for everything. I mean, we're, we're serving up uh, uh, web pages that I use as a test bed. Um, FTP file transfer, I use it for a work. I'm using a, uh, a work network attached drive. Um, I'm also serving up uh, Plex. I'm using Plex to serve up videos. My, my daughters are crazy over watching videos and streaming to the TVs and other laptops and whatnot. And we're going to see how, how much this changes. Or Actually, we just want to make sure that once we reinstall it, it's going to show that uh, we do have 16 gigs installed. So this is what I picked up at uh, the local micro center. This is a crucial branded memory. It's uh, two modules of 8 gigabyte DDR3L. The L, this is really, really important. The DDR3 versus the DDR3L, the L is there because it denotes it's a, uh, a dual voltage. So we're either going to use a 1.5 volts, which is the normal voltage for DDR3, or the uh, this machine though runs at 1.35 volts. They are not interchangeable. So this is a SODIMM module, uh, similar to what a laptop computer uses. So uh, let's uh, first let's tear this open and, and, and see what we got. Yeah, this is my my first time ever opening this up, so uh, we'll uh, we'll figure it out here. Tug. And we're going to take a peek around here. So here we go. This looks like uh, these are our modules. You have a CMOS clock here. Uh, I'm sorry, CMOS uh, battery to maintain the clock and the settings uh, and the, the BIOS for this little tiny motherboard and these are your RAM modules right here. Here we go, we have a, uh, uh, yep, this is labeled in there, two gigs of a DDR3L at 1600 megahertz. Let me see if I can zoom in on this. I'm gonna eject this here. Zoom in. So let's go ahead and uh, take these modules out. And this is the same, same kind. going to use this uh, crucial branded memory here. This is uh, two 8 gig modules. Let's uh, plug those in. That's uh, basically it. Now, without looking, before we put this back together, 
is the, I'm kind of wondering myself where the main processor and GPU is on this. Now, without taking it all the way apart, I'm going to assume that our main processor is probably on the other side here of this uh, grouping, and then of course our GPU is somewhere else. And there you have it all back together so uh all we gotta do is go plug it back in and bring it back online and uh see if our memory uh upgrade replacement is is effective immediately we gotta make some settings we'll uh, let's go figure it out all right so we got it back online we gotta wait uh just a few minutes just so we can uh uh, finish booting up you see it, it shows the booting up here please wait but we know it's functional it would have probably already crashed already if uh, if our memory was incompatible so we'll just wait a second alright looks like we're in uh, let's go back here and check our uh, CPU usage and boom just like that it shows the 16 gigs installed and now we're only using 2.91% as opposed to when 4 gigs we're using 18%. Uh, so that's all right. And already there's a 77 background processes or 75 background processes is already working. Um, so time will tell, you know, since I don't have a benchmark tool to actually uh, check speed or whatever, but uh, we're going to go back to normal usage and uh, I'll see how it goes from there. So um, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you guys will and do it to your own as